In this video, I'm going to be talking about Firemouth Cichlid Tank Mates. Coming up. Hey, what's up? It's Ty here, and welcome to my channel, Aquariums with Ty. And on this channel, I do a lot of fish videos as well as aquarium product reviews. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. At any point in the video, check out the description below. I always post links to products I talk about as well as notes of anything I forgot. Okay, so before we talk about tank mates, let's talk about a couple things about fire mouse cichlids, such as how big they get. They get about five to six inches and males being a little bit bigger, females being smaller. So that being said, you have to make sure you have a big enough tank for them. I would start off with about 30 gallons minimum, but 40 gallons is probably a lot more ideal and the fish will be a lot more comfortable in that size tank. So not only tank size do we need to talk about, but we also need to talk about water parameters. You want to make sure you keep your water at about 7.0 in the neutral zone is a good idea to do. Uh, fire mouse cichlids are super adaptive to aquarium life and I actually keep these in about 8.0 and they're doing just fine. Consistency is the most important thing when it comes to water parameters, always having it at the same level so the fish don't have to constantly be adjusting. Now I bring up water parameters because you want to keep you always want to keep fish that like similar water parameters. Firemouth cichlids, being a cichlid, are a territorial predatory fish, so they prey on smaller fish. So anything that's going to fit in their mouth, really for any fish, is completely out of the question. Also another thing is, I know firemouth cichlids have that smaller mouth, but if it's a fish that's bigger than their mouth, but won't defend themselves either, I wouldn't recommend putting them with a cichlid either. And that's why I choose black skirt tetras to go with these fish because they're a deeper bodied fish and not as elongated so they're not going to fit in the mouth but they're also not going to take crap from anything either. When it comes to cichlid tank mates you want to make sure that you get cichlids that have similar temperament and aren't going to bully the firemouth cichlid. Like, you don't want the firemouth cichlid to bully any fish, but you also don't want them to get bullied by any fish, if that makes sense. And having the right amount of space and hides for the cichlids is super important for having a cichlid set up because you want them to be able to break line of sight from each other. So my favorite cichlid to put with firemouth cichlid are other firemouth cichlids and it's because they're you know simple temperament they're same about the same size as each other so if you don't want to do that I recommend putting maybe some convicts um, I would put a Cara or maybe a, a mild Jack Dempsey you want to be careful if they get too aggressive so if you want to have a community tank set up, such as like tetras or something like that, then obviously I recommend black skirt tetras because that's what I have in this tank and they're doing perfectly fine. Um, maybe some serpe tetras, anything that's not going to be as elongated to where the uh, fire mouth cichlid could eat them easily. And if you're wondering, I've actually never seen these uh, fire mouse cichlids pick on the uh, black skirt tetras at all. Um, they kind of just bother each other and fight each other for territory here and there. But the black skirt tetras are kind of just the, the innocent bystanders that are just, just living life.
final thing I want to say is firemouth cichlids do become a lot more aggressive when they're spawning and they do need a lot more space when they're spawning and I actually haven't spawned them yet in this tank with the uh, the black skirt tetras I imagine they'll do fine but I also imagine they will be fighting each other a lot more and I might have to remove them in the future Anyways guys, thanks for checking out my channel and thanks for watching this video. If you haven't yet, subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications when I post a new video. And until next time guys, Aquariums with Ty is bringing you fish videos and review videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.